Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and this is my video tour of the Forest Fair Village Mall in Forest Park, Ohio. So you'll notice the sign here says Cincinnati Mall, and this video is titled Forest Fair Village. So what's the deal with that? Well, I will tell you. In July of 1988, the mall officially opened as Forest Fair Village. In 2002, uh, it was sold, and the new owners decided to spend $70 million to revamp the mall with that revamp they changed the name and called the place Cincinnati Mills. In 2009, the mall changed hands yet again, and the new owners could not transfer the property with the name Cincinnati Mills. So they changed the name to Cincinnati Mall, which is why you see the sign out there on the highway. In 2010, the mall changed hands again, and was renamed in 2013 Forest Fair Village. So it went back to its original name, and here it is today. Forest Fair Village is enormous. 1.5 million square feet. It is sectioned off into neighborhoods. It's kind of, the shape is kind of like um, a Y, like a Y shape. It's got Kohl's, Bass Pro Shop, and Babies Are Us. Those are the anchors that are left. Bass Pro is on its way out. You cannot use... The mall entrances to Kohl's or Babies R Us, you have to go outside and use their outside entrance. So the mall inside is basically abandoned. There are just a couple of businesses left. There's a um, arcade, which is amazing, which you'll see later on in this video. There is also a consignment shop, and that's about it. One of the crazy things about this mall, not only the way that it looked, but also the fact that I saw maybe five or six people the entire time I was here. So you would just look down corridors and see nobody for as far as the eye could see. Absolutely crazy.
there was a security guard here on a Segway, and he was just flying through this empty space, and I just couldn't understand what the urgency was. Um, I think the only reason he was going around so quickly is because he's looking for people taking pictures. I think this mall is really kind of like exciting for some people because it's really almost like it's abandoned so you can go but it's not trespassing because it's open so you can just go in and start walking around it really does feel like you're inside of an abandoned building it doesn't i mean there's nothing in there there's no stores there's no nothing I could not figure out if this place was actually open. It had lights on. It had stuff behind the counter. It looked like maybe somebody had been there, but there was nobody in sight. Um, but I did really enjoy seeing this smoky plexiglass food case filled with uh, computer supplies. <laughs> Here is the most lively place left in the mall, Arcade Legacy. I was so impressed with this arcade they had some really cool vintage games in this place five bucks for an hour seven dollars for the whole day so all the machines are free play so you just pay five bucks if you want to do an hour or seven bucks if you want to be in there all day and you can go around and play as many games as you want for as long as you want i think that's pretty cool Here we are in the center court. You can see all this bizarre kind of decoration. Uh, there used to be a Ferris wheel and a carousel here. Um, they had sort of like a miniature uh, children's amusement park. And this is the fountain. And uh, you can see that's been drained and turned off. And there's one of the uh, empty anchor stores. Very sad situation. you look around this place, you see all this stuff, all the money they poured into this building in hopes that people would come and they didn't, they, they didn't come. So you have this left, just a shell with a bunch of stuff in it.
This is the corridor that heads down towards Coles. Besides them all being completely dead, it really is a fascinating place to see just because of how dead it actually is. I mean, this mall is so dead. I mean, it, I don't I don't know if I've ever seen a mall this bad. The only thing I could compare it to is Owings Mills, which is now closed, but um, th- this mall was really, really dead. I think size-wise, because of how large it is, I think it wins the contest of, you know, it doesn't have any stores inside the mall. There's one store, the consignment shop and the arcade, that's it. So if we if we don't think about the anchors, you know, it's it's pretty bad. just have a look around here real quick. I love really bad fake plants. I don't know what my obsession with really bad fake plants is, but I am completely obsessed with really bad fake plants in malls. I want to thank everyone for watching. Make sure you check out my second channel, Film It. I'll put a link right now. Also check out Dan Mason on Bandcamp if you enjoyed the music in this episode. And make sure you go check out the playlist and watch the other episodes in the Dead Mall series. Thank you all very much for watching.